About an hour north of Albuquerque, New Mexico, lies a small village, often called Ghost Town, despite the people actually living there. Here, in lonely Madrid, New Mexico, we find one of the most popular saloons in the Southwest that you've probably never heard of, the Mineshaft Tavern. This rowdy and notorious roadhouse has quenched the thirst of hundreds of miners, visitors, gamblers, and thieves in its history. Built in 1946, this tavern was a replacement for the town's original saloon that was built back in 1899. It burnt down Christmas Day 1945, and they rebuilt it, and they rebuilt it here in this location. The original town's tavern, and even this one, were built solely for the men, the dusty, tired miners, sweating it out underground to get coal for the nearby railroad depots. This was a men's club. Uh, there was an opera house and a kind of a place for other people, all the families and kids to go to, but this was mostly men's. And that's one of the reasons why the stand-up bar here is the way it's built was for men that came out of the mines to be able to stand there and kind of stretch their backs out. The town itself was established in the late 1800s as a coal mining community, completely built and owned by the coal company that ran the local mines. But, unlike the other more tyrannical companies, the Albuquerque and Cerritos Coal Company wanted to take care of its men. It built the first lighted baseball stadium west of the Mississippi, held community events like the 4th of July Parade, and of course, built them a tavern. And so today, that tavern continues the traditions set down so many years ago. They feature events throughout the year and have live music every weekend. And we were told there were two things we just had to try. The first is their margarita. Uh, my margaritas, I use all fresh squeezed juices. I think those are, they're really the best in the, in the county, I think, you know. I've drank at all the places around the county and I know mine are pretty good. <laughs> and the second, the green chili cheeseburger. We use local ranch beef. So um, our down the street we have uh, Bonanza Creek Ranch, which is also a very famous movie ranch. The, the latest film that was filmed there that you would know is Cowboys and Aliens. Okay, it was filmed in that movie town down there. And but that's, uh, that's where they also grow cattle. It's a working cattle ranch. And so that's where we get our um, beef for our hamburgers. It's very high dollar, prime hamburger beef. Words simply can't do these things justice. The best thing you can do is stop by and try them for yourself. It's a bit out of the way, but if you're in Albuquerque or Santa Fe, you owe it to yourself to take a trip to this storied bar.